Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about some recent um, empties that I have. And sorry if my makeup's looking all messed up. Um, I probably have like sunglasses marks and all my makeup's wearing off, but I've had it on all day long. I'm just trying to get some videos recorded so I can edit over the holidays while I'm traveling. All right, let's jump into some empties. So I have my bag right here. I'm just gonna start grabbing out. And the first thing on top is the Clinique Clarifying Lotion number three. This is the pink one. Um, I have used this for probably over 10 years now. Um, it's This is the one for combination skin. The number three, the pink one, is for combo skin. I've had this particular bottle for a very long time and I just kept refilling it with like the normal bottles because this one has the pump on it. Um, this is a fabulous toner. If you need something, you're a beginner to skincare, I recommend Clinique all the way. Um, and these toners are just amazing. This is the only one I've tried, so I can't really speak to the other three I think there are. And they also have an acne one, which I am really interested in trying. I just have not gotten around to trying it yet. Um, but the number three is one of my all-time favorite toners. And if you have combination oily skin, I recommend checking this one out. So the next thing here is the Carez Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser. This is a really nice cleanser. Um, I use this on my Clarisonic and it's very like gentle, I would say. Um, I don't like this as much as I like the Clinique Sonic cleanser. It's in like the green tube, but this one's really nice. I think if you have sensitive skin, if you have like dry skin, you would like this a, a lot. I still love it. Um, I just prefer the Clinique one a little better. I think it cleans my oily skin better than this one does. Um, and this one is always is also nice like on its own just to like lather up. It's a very gentle cleanser. I have a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This was in the shade Fair Beige. Um, I used I used all that I could get out of it. Um, I love the sharp the sharp tape shape, <laughs> the um, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I love this under my eyes and also all over my face for like covering up any type of blemish and highlighting and all that stuff. The only thing I don't like about this concealer and why it's not my like number one favorite concealer and another one is which. I have one in there of this. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, this one like almost oxidizes any type of eyeshadow that you put on your lids. So if you use this as like a base for eyeshadow, um, it just makes the colors look different than what they would on like their own or with something else. They kind of tend to turn a little grayer than what they should be. Um, so I think when I use this from now on, I'm gonna be using my MAC um, Paint Pot in Painterly. That's what I've been doing the past couple times. I'll just put that on first and then I'll use this under my eye. Um, eyes, I have two eyes, and then on the rest of my face. So um, other than that for like the eyeshadow, which maybe you shouldn't be using this anyway, get something cheaper to use as an eyeshadow base. Um, I love this as concealer though. So Tarte Shape Tape. And the other concealer I was referring to is the old NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Light 2 Vanilla. This is my favorite formula of concealer, finish, color. I love everything about this concealer. This is the second full-size tube that I used up. I'm on my third one right now. I've also used up a, um, like the half-size trial tube. So I've had this concealer in the past when I first got it. It wasn't like, I didn't think it was that amazing. Though so the first one I had, I used it up and then I was like, okay, that's it. Like it was good, it was okay, it's not worth like $30. And then for some reason I decided to get the little size of it later on and I used it and it became my favorite concealer since then and I've been through two full size tubes after that little one and it's just my favorite concealer of all time. I don't think I will ever be able to live without this now. Um, it's always going to be in my collection. It's not one of those things that I'm like, hurry up, use it up, push it out of your collection. It's like, oh my gosh, I think I'm about to be out so I need to go to Ulta like right now, it's freaking midnight, I don't care, I'm about to place an order on Sephora. Like, favorite concealer hands down of all time. Um, I have a Cinema Secrets makeup brush cleaner. I've had this little tiny size. This is what I first bought to try it. Now I have like the huge one. Um, I had been using 
this and refilling it with that huge one and then the like cap kind of got gross and disgusting so i'm just gonna buy another one of these little sprays and as i caught down to that little bit left i didn't feel like refilling it again i just dipped my brush in and cleaned it out of there so that's that um it's an amazing brush cleaner i know not a ton of people love this because it has like alcohol on it people don't think it's good for the brushes um the way i use this i only really use this on my eye brushes because for face brushes i'm personally very like acne prone and i feel like this would not clean that was a weird thing i just did this would not clean your face brushes well enough um if you have problematic skin but for my eye brushes i don't care i don't break out on my eyelids so i use this every other day like I'll use a brush on my eye first thing after like washing it with like actual brush soap and then I will clean it with this the following day and then after that cleanse with this I will thoroughly clean it again. So um, I like this. It just helps out with you don't have to like deep cleanse brushes as often. I have a Prada candy perfume. Um, this my husband bought for me about almost like four years now. He bought it for me for Christmas. I don't have a sense of smell that's very odd. I know I have anosmia basically is what it's called. Um, I was born without a sense of smell. Never really been able to smell anything. Um, I can kind of pick up uh, certain things like peppermint if it's very strong, um, like something I'm gonna talk about in here. And then acetone, I can definitely like tell when there's like acetone in my face but um when someone like farts if something smells good bad if there's like food I can't smell it so I don't know if I'm completely missing a sense of smell or I've just always had a very dull sense of smell anyway I can't smell perfume so um my husband bought me this he liked the smell of it he buys me a lot of my like scented things because I can't smell them I don't care what they smell like he cares, he's the one that's gonna smell them. So this was a gift from him, I finally used it up. Um, I'm assuming it smells very sweet like candy. So Prada candy. I have two Maybelline Clean Expresses and this had been like discontinued for a while. Well, it's discontinued in store. I used to be able to find this at Walmart, certain Walmarts, not all of them. Um, now I've not been able to find this at in-store in Walmart for probably at least nine months now. I found this on the Walmart website and you can order it. I think you can get free shipping if you spend like $35. So basically I just spend like, I buy $35 worth of this and I get it shipped to me. It's my favorite makeup cleanser, um, eye makeup remover of all time. If you want to know more about it check out my skincare favorites of this year and I talk all about it. I love it so much. Bring it back, Walmart, Maybelline, love it. I have a candle in here and this is that peppermint thing that I was talking about. This is the um, Bath & Body Works White Barn Peppermint Rosemary Candle and this one that's burning, I can like kind of pick it up if I'm like right up next to it. I can almost like get a whiff of the peppermint. Um, and I really, really liked this when I was sick. Um, I was sick for almost like four weeks, um, very recently. And this just like opened like all my sinuses up. I was having so many sinus issues. I really, I still don't know what was wrong, but I coughed for like a month. Like I could not get rid of it. This was so, so nice. I could definitely tell the nights that like I would lay in bed with my husband, we'd watch TV and I'd burn this. Oh my God. Like I wish I could burn candles while we slept. Um, but my husband doesn't like the any type of light while we're sleeping, so unfortunately I cannot. But this candle is so amazing. Um, I think it's like in the permanent range. So if you're ever sick, um, pick up one of Bath and Body Works like peppermint candles, and it'll open your sinuses up. This is the Garnier Whole Blend Smoothing Oil. This took me a very long time to go through. Um, it's essentially a hair oil. I really like the Moroccan oil. That one's my favorite. This one was good for the price. I think it was like under $10. Guardian's very affordable. You can find it at Walmart. Um, it's just a lot thinner than like the Moroccan oil one. So um, now that I'm done with this, I'm definitely going to purchase the Moroccan oil. I actually have like a few sample sizes of it right now. Um, but once I'm done with those, I'm sure I'll get the full size. This one's good though if you're on a budget and you need a good hair oil. I have a Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. Um, this is a like vitamin C. Oh my God, airplanes, come on. Take a little Hickory Farms break. If you've never had Hickory Farms, oh my God. Get your life together. <laughs> so like I was saying, 
Um, this is a very nice vitamin C serum. I use this in the daytime and when you're using, pretty much always you should be using sunscreen, but definitely use sunscreen if you're putting this on in the daytime. Like put your sunscreen on over top of it. The only thing I didn't love about this one is it almost like left orange spots on my face if like I didn't rub it in enough and it was a day where like I wasn't wearing makeup. I just had my skincare on and I was going about my day. Um, so definitely if you use this, put on sunscreen. And then you could also like, oh, there's like a little tiny, I couldn't get that last bit out, it quit pumping. But if you wanna see how much you have left, you can just like pull it out and you can like see. So I think it starts down here. Um, Cause it is a white bottle to protect it from like oxid oxidization, oxidizing. Um, <laughs> but if you wanna like open it and check how much you have, you can always do that with those. I have a Soap and Glory the Fab Pore Purifying Foam Cleanser with Pore Shrink, Cool Capsule, Soothe Technology, and Witch Hazel. Jesus, that is a name. So what this is is a foam facial cleanser. I really like this for the morning time. This will last you a decent amount of time because it's a foam. It goes a long way. Um, it was nice. Uh, I think it did a really good job of like making my pores less visible. And it's not too expensive. I'm pretty sure it's under like the $15 range and for as long as it lasted me, I think it was totally worth it. I would definitely buy that again one day. Have another makeup remover. This is the Equate Beauty. It's essentially the Neutrogena one. Um, I always buy like the Equate one or the whatever the Target one is. Um, they're the same thing as the Neutrogena one, just way cheaper. It's a good one. The only thing that I don't like about this one and why I like this Maybelline one more is you have to pour this out whereas like the Maybelline one, it's like a little, it's more controllable, that little opening. This one just kind of pours all over your cotton round and you waste a little bit more. Um, but that's a really good one. I've repurchased that like a lot. Oh, this is really exciting. This is the Marc Jacobs um, 20 dream filter essentially it is it was a contouring highlighting duo um, this side was the contour and then this side was the highlight and i actually finished it like i made a point this year to use this completely up it's super pricey so um it's something i use every day a contour and then the highlight shade i don't like pressed powders for under my eyes so what i did is i like set my eyelid and stuff with it or like use it to dust off loose powder stuff like that um but i got my use out of it i was like so excited about that a bunch of mascaras so i'll just try to quickly go over them this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is my second favorite mascara of all time. It's fabulous. It makes your lashes look nice, fat. Um, not so much long, but it's definitely going to give you a lot of volume. Um, my favorite mascara of all time, number one place in my life, is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And this one is going to lengthen. It's going to separate. It's going to make your lashes look thicker. This does everything for me. It doesn't transfer. I can use it on my top, bottom lashes. I can't say enough good things about this. I, this is like that NARS concealer. I always have to have it in my collection. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This was a really nice mascara. It's similar to the Too Faced one. It gets clumpy a lot faster and I don't think it's as volumizing, but it's a really good drugstore alternative if you don't feel like spending like the $20 on the Too Faced one. I have a pack of Bosha blotting cloths. Um, I use these all the time, every day, generally a lot around lunchtime. I'll take one or two out at work and I will blot the oils off my face. I always have those with me. I have a ColourPop um, Super Shock Shadow in the shade Birthday Girl. This is my favorite single shadow of all time. Um, I had thought it was limited edition for the longest time. It came out like three years ago for their first birthday in this cute limited edition packaging. Um, so I was kind of hoarding this one. I didn't want to use all of it up because I thought I wasn't gonna like be able to get it anymore. And it's actually permanent now. It's on their website in the regular white packaging. So I bought two of them and I'm using the new one now. It's my favorite eyeshadow ever. I love it so much. This is the Drunk Elephant TLC Frambu Sky Glycolic Night Serum. I really like this. I don't like this as much as Sunday Riley Good Jeans. Um, I've been using a retinoid recently. It's the Tritonin blah blah blah. It'll be a link a video up here with like my skincare favorites. And this is not good to put over that because it's more of a gel consistency. It kind of, it makes 
it mixes with the um, retinoid. It looks, it like doesn't mix right. That's what I'm trying to say. But alone, this is really great for acne. So if you are just looking for a really good serum, you have like combination oily acne prone skin. This is a really great one. It's a little pricey, but I think that is worth it. I have some of that Moroccan oil I was talking about. This is just the original oil formula. It's my favorite oil of all time. Just put a little tiny, like quarter size, not even quarter size, like a nickel size maybe on your hand and just kind of focus it on the ends of your hair. And I think it does a really good job at like repairing ends. I have an Ariana Grande perfume and same thing with the Prada Candy. I can't really smell this. Um, if I initially spray it, and I take a very big whiff of it, I can almost get a like sense of sweetness. Um, I don't know if that's like in my head or what, but I love the bottle of this. I have the big size too, just because it's so cute and it normally has a little puff ball on it, but I took that off and I used that as like a purse charm because um, <laughs> it's like this light pink color and that's like my favorite color ever. Favorite color ever. But it's just such a chic, cute little bottle. I have the Sunday Riley CEO Micro Dissolve Cleansing Oil. I love the CEO line by Sunday Riley. This is really nice, except for on the eye area. I didn't like it for that. It kind of like burns the eye area, but this one's really nice. If you just wanna like keep it in your shower and you're lazy one night, you don't wanna do the whole like double cleanse thing at your sink. Um, just get your face like slightly damp, start rubbing this in and lather it up with a little bit of water and it'll take all your makeup off. Then you can just go right on with your like Clarisonic in the shower. I love that. I have a Physicians Formula Healthy Wear. This was like a powder foundation. Um, the cool thing with this, it was translucent and it had SPF um, 50 in it. I've had this for a long time, so the SPF is probably like not even functional anymore, but it was a really nice powder. Um, I don't know if it had flashback or not. I really only used it during the daytime like to work if I didn't feel like putting sunscreen on. And I've heard that this was discontinued. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'll try to like put some more information about it either here or down below um, if you were interested in getting this. It is a really nice powder though. So a product that I really didn't like, I don't think this is worth it. This is the Bumble and Bumble BB Preta Powder um, dry shampoo. And this is the regular one. This isn't the one for uh, dry hair. This is for basically oily hair. And this last, this little tiny one lasted me six days and I think it was about $18. Now I usually use the Batiste dry shampoo and I don't put it in my empties because I go, th I go through it like body wash basically. Uh, I don't feel like I need to keep all those because I go through so much of it. This was not worth it to me. I don't think it made my hair like any, I don't think it absorbed oil any better than the Batiste one. I actually don't think it was even like as good as the Batiste one. I really like the Bumble and Bumble Preta powder, the actual like powder in a bottle. I like that one for putting on my roots and giving myself more volume, um, but I don't like that dry shampoo. I wouldn't buy that again. And I definitely wouldn't buy it in the full size. This is the Sunday Riley UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil. I fucking love this face oil. Oh my god, like it is so amazing. It's green. Green's like my one of my other favorite colors. I love green, I love pink. Um, this is really, really great for acne prone, oily skin. I use this at nighttime after like my toner, retinoid, um, and serum. I put this on, then I put a moisturizer on. I really, really love this. It has salicylic acid. I believe it's, yeah, 1.5% salicylic acid. I would 100% buy this again. I just haven't yet because I have a small size that I'm using right now. I have another makeup product here. This is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. This is actually the second one that I've used up. I used one of these up like in high school and I used this one up this year. I had it for about four years. It took me to get through, but I really love this. This is my favorite bronzer of all time, I would have to say. And this is now $40. I'm pretty sure it used to be like in the low 30s to mid 30s. It's not $40, so it's gonna be a while till I buy another full size of this. I have some like smaller travel sizes of it right now, um, but I have a ton of bronzers that I need to use up before I buy another one of those. I have some Belief um, small sizes. This is the Belief Moisturizing Balm, and this is the Aqua Balm. This one I use um, pretty much every night. This is the Aqua Balm. I love this. It, I feel like it makes my skin so beautiful when I wake up in the morning. I just, I really notice a difference when I use this. And then the moisturizing balm, I use this when my skin is feeling kind of irritated and dry and I love the way it makes my skin feel like 
when I put it on and then when I wake up in the morning, it feels so much better. I have a empty pan of the Too Faced Baby Love. This came out of their Love Flush palette, the really big one with the six um, blushes in it, is what I'm trying to say. And I use this one. I still have all the other blushes. Um, I use them as well. That is my favorite formula and my favorite color of blush is that Too Faced Baby Love. This is really exciting. This is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask and this took me about three and a half years to use up. I bought this in July, June or July of 2014. I know that because I bought it right before I deployed to Afghanistan um, with the Marine Corps. And this is such a nice lip mask. I use this at nighttime and it's just like when you wake up in the morning, you still have it on your lips. It's so hydrating, it makes your lips so nice. If you use a ton of drying lip products, liquid lipsticks, um, matte lipsticks, this is a lifesaver and I recommend this to anybody. I just got like really cold in my house. So I put my sweatshirt on if you're wondering where that came from. Um, I have a Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and this was pretty good. I think I'm just realizing that I don't love felt type of eyeliners. I kind of feel like they're okay at first and then once you've had them and you've used them for a while and they start to kind of dry out, they really just like pull on your eyelid. And I'm just, I'm not the biggest fan. Right now, I'm really, really loving the Clinique Pretty Easy Eyeliner. Like I said in like my favorite eye products video of this year, it's probably gonna take a lot for something to top that. Um, it's so amazing and it's a, it's a brush tip, not a felt tip. Um, this one's okay. If you like felt tips though, you'd probably like that Stila one. I have a brow pencil. This is the NYX Micro Brow in the shade Ash Brown. And this is like my favorite eyebrow pencil. I like this and I like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. They're pretty much kind of the same thing. This one's a touch bit drier than the Anastasia one. It's obviously way more affordable. It's half the price of the Anastasia one. So the formula difference is fine with me. Um, I've been through a ton of these. I have some eyelashes. So this first pair, um, I actually just like pulled them out like two days ago I was wearing lashes. These are the um, Eyler Texture 154s. And unfortunately I have to get rid of these. Um, <laughs> I didn't even get to wear them. I freaking like cut the end off of the left one. Like you're supposed to cut the outer edge off um, because you want the like shorter taper to be on the inside of your eyelash. So it's not like a weird differentiation. You know what I mean? In the inner corner. So what I did is I did the left one right and I haven't really worn eyelashes in a long time. So when I went to cut the right one, I totally didn't even realize that I accidentally cut the inner corner off. And they just look completely wonky. Like <laughs> the left one looked really good, but the right one was just, it didn't look right. So I have to get rid of these, but I do really like the style. They're kind of like um, shorter on the inner and outer corners and then like fullest in the middle. I have another pair of um, eye lore texture. These are the number 117. These are very similar to like a Demi Wispy style. And this pair I've just had in rotation for a very long time. Um, after so long of like cleaning them off, cleaning like the glue off, I just feel like, you know, it's time to get rid of them even if they haven't started falling apart yet. Um, so those are gonna go. And same thing with these two. Um, I have, these are both the Salon Perfect. These are the 615s and these are the Demi Wispies. So similar to that um, 117 style. That's what both of those look like. I love, um, I love these, they're like very natural. And then these are very like a glamorous type looking lash. They're very unique. Um, they don't curl up as well as like I want them to. They kind of tend to like stick straight out. But I mean, they're really cool looking lash. They're just not, you know, something you wear on the daily. I have two sponges here. Um, this first one, this was such a disappointment. This is a beauty blender. Um, this came in a Nordstrom set over the summertime. It was this like pretty lavender color and then a um, like peachy colored one. And so the peach one was like the normal beauty blender um, material. The only thing is the peach color washed out basically like on the first time I washed it. Um, but this one was like, not the same texture. I don't know if you can even like see it. I'm gonna see if it'll like focus on it. Yeah, you can like kind of see. See how it looks like so rough? And you know, it is. Like it did not apply um, like my cream products the same, like my foundation. It, like you could tell that this was like more porous and like rough. Like this is not the same as like the 
other beauty blenders and I bought it with the set like so long ago that I just like I'm not even I don't know how I would even return it so I mean I'm just gonna take it as a loss and like toss this I used it like one time it didn't even look good with powder like I tried to bake with it and the powder just looked really weird and like it caked up in a bunch of spots um because there's like holes missing in this like I don't know what the fuck beauty blender I was like so upset with this because um, I really like that lavender, like light purple color, but whatever, I'm gonna stop talking about that. Stop wasting my time on that stupid thing and throw it away. Um, this uh, is a much better option. This is the Ulta Beauty Sponge, and this is the smaller ones that they have. This, these come in a two pack, and they also have a larger size one that you can buy like by itself. Uh, the big one, it gets very big, um, and I feel like it's very hard to get under my eyes with the big one, but these little ones, you can do your face with like this end because they get bigger when you um, get them wet. Now they don't get as big as a like typical size beauty blender, but they get big enough to where you can like do your whole face um, with like the little butt end. And then this end is small enough to get like under your eye for concealer. Um, this one, it's just, I've had it for a very long time. It's starting to kind of like crack. Um, and the also beauty sponges, these are my favorite. These are my only drugstore, like affordable option of a beauty blender that I like. Um, because I don't like beauty blenders, first of all, if they're shitty texture. Second, I don't like them when they like rip after one or two washes. Like that's just ridiculous to me. That's a total waste of money. You might as well make an investment and buy a $20 beauty blender as opposed to like a $10 sponge that's only going to last you one use. Buy a $20 one that's going to last you for six months. Like do the math. So anyway, these are very good though. They're not going to last you as long as a beauty blender, but for the price, I do get a good amount of uses out of these Ulta ones. If you haven't checked those out, I've never heard anybody talk about them. Um, I'm a huge fan of them. They have different styles. They actually have some, uh, I don't know if they're always available, but they do have some that look just like the Beauty Blender. They're shaped like it and they're pink as well. And those last a very long time also. I have the Bite Beauty um, liquid lipstick. They actually don't make this style anymore. They do make liquid lipsticks um, now, but they're different. They reformulated them. And this was so pretty. This is in the shade Bordeaux. I've only had this for like a year and a half, two years. And it just like dried out. Like it is completely just, I mean, I would not want to put that on my lips. Like it used to at least be creamy and it's such a pretty color. I think I've only worn it like twice or so, like in the winter time. That's the color there. Um, but it was so beautiful. Just really sad. Like it, I went to wear it the other day and it was freaking dried out. Like, oh my God. Oh well, it was pretty well it lasted, I guess. Oh, I have a Pixie Glow Tonic. I really like this um, toner for the morning time. I should have put this in my like yearly favorites, but I don't currently have it. Um, I went through this little bottle and then like the 3.4 ounce bottle earlier this year. I do really like this for the morning. It's a glycolic acid um, toner. It's really, really nice for the morning time. If your skin can tolerate that, um, some people are kind of sensitive to acids. I have a little sample size of the TLC Sukari Baby Facial by Drunk Elephant. This is like my favorite um, mask. I got as much out as I could, then I cut it um, and scraped some out and then I just put it back together. Um, I talked about the full size empty in my last empties video. Talked about this in my favorite skincare products of this year. I just love this mask so much. It's really good at just getting rid of like any um, issues that you're having with your skin as far as like texture and acne and all that go. I have a Fresh Sugar Lip Balm. This is just the classic one. I used all of it up. I love this. Um, I actually really like, actually have it right here. This is the Bite Beauty one. I really like the Bite Agave Lip Mask, like the um, treatment that you like squeeze out and put all over your lips. I like that for nighttime, but I got this. I actually have like a little tiny one in my purse that like I'm pretty much done with, so check, watch out for that in the next empties. Um, but I went ahead and got the full size of this. I was in Sephora like last weekend, and it is really amazing, you know? Kind of does the same thing as the lip mask, Except I think this is more appropriate for the daytime. It's not like a, a lot of goopy like lip product that you, you really don't need that during the day, but this is really nice to just, you know, use during the daytime. Okay, that's not empty. I don't know what I'm talking about that so much. But um, it's kind of similar to this one. And I had this one first, obviously, before that bite one. 
And I feel like the Bite one just does a little bit better of a job at hydrating my lips than this fresh one, but this is a really good one too if you don't need like a ton more hydration. I have a little sample size of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This one was in the shade Soft Brown. I got this in like a little um, Sephora bag and I just used it up. Um, I use this all the time and it's actually the shade that I buy it in. So I was like excited to get that. It just doesn't have like the spoolie on it. I have the Tarte. Um, this is like the clay brow gel and this is in the shade medium brown. I'm pretty sure they're discontinuing this because the only place I see it currently is on the Tarte website um, on clearance. And it's just a very tiny little wand that you uh, run through your eyebrows and I feel like it helps fill in any like areas that you may have missed when you were filling them in with like a brow pencil. And I feel like it kind of helps set, I like to use it in the front of my brows to kind of like feather them and I feel like it kind of helps um, position them where I want them. And then I normally go over this with a clear brow gel as well just to like reinforce them because I have very like unruly brows. And the last thing that I have to share is the YSO, um, lip oil. This is in the shade, I don't care. I'll put it somewhere up here. I don't like this at all. <laughs> um, I bought this, I had a Nordstrom note about two years ago, like two summers ago. And um, I was on Spectra a lot at that time on the forum, like um, talking about makeup with people all the time. And all the girls on there said that they love these so much in this color. This is like Monastery or something. Um, they were like, oh my god, it's like so beautiful, it's so awesome, the formula is awesome. I don't like any YSL lip products. I don't think I've really tried any other YSL products like at all. I think I've tried like that gold primer. I have a sample of it, I think I only tried like one time, it was like, okay. But um, I don't like any other lip products and I buy them like all the time. I've bought two of their, um, I don't remember what it's called exactly, what the formula is, but they're in like the round. The tube is like round, um, like this, but it's like shorter, you know. It's like Rouge Volupt, I think. I've bought two of those before. And they're like, I think they're fragrance. Like I said, I can't smell. But I think they have a fragrance in them that I can almost taste. And like, it's just, it makes me feel weird when I'm wearing them because like I have this weird like, taste in my mouth type situation and i've also tried one of their other like regular lipsticks that's in the like square packaging and that one it was kind of the same deal and like i mean they look pretty but it, like i could get the same thing with like a mac lipstick that's not really like heavily i guess fragrance to like make me feel weird while i'm wearing it but this was just like it sucks all the moisture out of your lips like it's a lip oil but it doesn't hydrate your lips at all and then it's tinted so it's like the color stains your lips and just sucks all the moisture out of them i don't know i've tried this so many times i've tried it in the winter i've tried it in the summer i've tried it at nighttime i've tried it in the daytime i cannot like it like this sucks i don't like it at all I don't recommend these. This is like a $35, $36 lip treatment thing. Um, I don't like these. Like, I don't know why people like these so much. If you want a good lip oil, get yourself a Clarins um, Comfort Lip Oil. They have them in different colors. I don't really think that the colors um, translate that well onto your lips. But what these do is they actually provide a ton of hydration. And they make your lips look super shiny and oily. They don't like slip all over the place and like, you know, get all over your face. They stay on your lips. These are amazing. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're less expensive than the YSL ones. Don't buy the YSL ones, like save yourself the time and the money. Okay, everyone, that is all for this empties video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you guys in my next video. Have a good one, bye.